नमस्कार आदाब सत्या और खुशा मदीद वेरी वेरी गुड इवनिंग चलो फिर पीपल दिस इज अ मास्टर डी जी हर्ष जो कि आपके सामने आज ऑक्सफोर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी का सेशन लेकर आए हैं एंड दिस ऑक्सफोर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी सेशन इज अ वेरी गुड ग्रेट सेशन इन फैक्ट बिकॉज ऑक्सफोर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी इज इट सेल्फ अ वेरी कोविटेड वेरी रिस्पेक्टेबल यूनिवर्सिटी अ लॉट ऑफ ग्लोबल लीडर्स इम्पैक्ट मेकर्स चेंज मेकर्स दे ऑल हैव कम फ्रॉम ऑक्सफोर्ड यूनिवर्सिटी पॉइंट वन एंड द सेकेंड बेस्ट पॉइंट दैट यू कैन एक्चुअली स्टडी फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट येस यू आर हेयरिंग इट राइट यू कैन एक्चुअली स्टडी हेयर फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट एट हंड्रेड परसेंट स्कॉलरशिप दिस इज वेरी मच पॉसिबल इन दिस यूनिवर्सिटी सो हाउ इज इट गोइंग टू बी पॉसिबल आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू इन दिस वीडियो सो इफ यू हैव येट नॉट सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल काइंडली डू दैट बिकॉज यू गेट अ लॉट ऑफ यूजफुल मीनिंगफुल एंड required content on this channel so all all such content would be fulfilling your needs and you should get that content on time so that you can take your decisions wisely here we go let's get started with university of oxford so oxford university was built in 1096 can you just imagine that 1096 roughly more than 1000 years back wow uh, not 1000 but still 900 years or like something around that so it's it's way more than like this is probably i have seen the oldest university till now qs world ranking is around 4 it has got an international student ratio of 41% that's a magnanimous percentage of international students which most of the universities do not have student mix domestic is 59% international is 41% now oxford university is famous for its research teaching and history next is uh, this is the ra uh, ranking uh, top 10 universities in uk for 2025 so some uh, ranking uh, agencies do rank it on the third some on fourth or it depends now the times report also listed top 10 universities uk with that uh, uh, scores that reflect their overall performance in teaching research student satisfaction and job outcomes now please pay attention on this oxford has announced a new five year partnership with open ai the collaboration will see students and staff gain access to funding and cutting edge artificial intelligence tools to enhance teaching learning and research the university said so this news why i wanted to show despite being a very old university and have and having a very strong cultural and historical background this university is is more tends towards bringing in new technologies the the latest what is going on in the market and it's not something of that that we are kind of the oldest one so we will stick to history or something of that no they are uh, aggressively moving towards the, the the latest technology what is going in the market now why oxford so one of the reason i said you right now in the previous slide few more <coughs> so the community is quite welcoming and the major reason why community is quite welcoming because it has got 41% of international student means 41% students are non native uh, england people so non native england people like then then it, it surely means that uh, most of the people 40% of the population is outside the country this means they will be bringing a new culture and and hence uh, uh, means a tolerance towards uh, every culture next is real world problem solving that you'll experience in the university unparalleled support and legacy of excellence these all things are there and now this was the slide which i was talking about just look at this number among them so all those people who have been graduated or post graduated from oxford among them there are 28 british prime minister is university ne 28 pradhan mantri diye which is very big number at least 30 international leaders 30 international leaders 55 nobel prize winners can you just see the number 55 nobel prize winners and 120 olympic medal winners so this university has nailed it in almost every field may it be sports olympic medalist nobel prize winners in the science and technology and philanthropy nobel prize or like peace prize everywhere international leaders national leaders everywhere so you'll find oxford alumni at almost probably in in every space and that is what makes this university the greatest now which all courses are offered here so there are many courses i have just listed down few like computer science is there engineering science mathematics and computer science mathematics and statistics biomedical material science medicine and many more so these few of the courses which might uh, be useful for you next is oxford acceptance rate in 2024 is around 14% means out of 
23,000 applicants who applied here, roughly 3,793, roughly 3,800 applicants got selected and then uh, this many offers were given and this many students were admitted, like after giving the offer, some of them denied it, some of them accepted it, so 3, 2, 4, 5 students accepted it and they got admitted. 2023 and all of them, so all such data signifies towards a selection percentage of around 14 to 15 percent which is quite good and decent because if compared with iits and nits in india they they are barely one percent around one percent of selection rate now how to get admission in the art uh, oxford so your class 12th uh, qualification study with either cbsc or icsc boards with the following grades so please take care here in getting into oxford you are not eligible if you have done your 12th with nios or with state boards these two boards are not eligible for getting admitted to Oxford University. You are hearing it right. Absolutely. For courses requiring AAA like Maths, Physics and or Engineering, CBSE students should aim for grades like A1, 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 A1 and A2. Means what? So in CBSE, the minimum subject requirements are 5. You will be having 5 subjects in your grade 12th. So in those 5 subjects, you should have A1 grade in minimum 4 subjects. <clears throat> and one subject can be bared with an A2 grade. So, if you convert this into numbers, it means you can even convert it like this is the requirement for ICSE also and CBSE also. It means that in four subjects, you need minimum at least 90% in four subjects. Uh, sorry, this is the overall, very sorry. Overall, you need 90% minimum overall 90% and in four subjects you need minimum 95% in in ICSE in CBSE A1 grade is achieved if you get 90% or above so in CBSE the rule says that you should get 90% or above you should get 90% or, or above in four subjects and A2 means above between 80 to 90 that that what means uh, A1 and A2 grade in CBSE so this is for CBSE, for ICSE, overall 90% and at least 95% or more in more, four subjects and one subject can be above 85%. This is what they mean. So the requirements are quite strict, stringent. Uh, for courses uh, such uh, for A star AA such as economics, law and etc. Here you need again almost the same, a little bit different. Here you need three subjects with A1. In engineering and mathematics, you needed four subjects with A1. Here you need three subjects with A1 and two with A2. Would work. Okay. Now, for ICSC also, overall 90% is required. 95% or more, three subjects. Three subjects with 95% or more. And two subjects could be 85% or more. Got it? I hope this is clear. NIS and state boards are not accepted. So, this is written here. Now, next is Oxford uses admission test as part of their selection process to check a student's academic potential, how suitable they are for the course and their reasoning and problem solving skills. These tests are now taken online using a computer. Now, which is that test? So Pearson VUE test center, a professional testing center with, uh, uh, with secure facilities located in cities across the world. So you'll find a lot of test centers here in India also, where you can go and take the Oxford admission test. Now, so which all admission tests do they have? So they do have multiple type of tests. So they have PAT, physics admission test. What this physics admission test means, I will tell you. So physics admission test, then biomedical science admission test, classical admission test, then uh, law national admission test, and then mathematics admission test, and then modern language admission test. So six tests are here. Now, just an example. So if you go for a physics admission test, PAT, through this physics admission test, if you are planning to apply Oxford University for courses such as engineering science, material science, physics or physical uh, physics and philosophy, for these four courses where physics is an important part, you'll have to apply for physics admission test and then you can apply for these courses. Based on PAT score, you'll get the admission. Next, a physics admission test as part of admission process. This is a two hours long, all multiple choice and covers basic physics and maths if you have likely studied in your school. Now, similarly, if, if you have chosen mathematics admission test or where you need to choose mathematics admission test. If you are going for computer science, mathematics or joint courses with philosophy, statistics or computer science, you will need to take math. I hope I am clear with my point. So, they have not a fixed examination pattern. Anyone who is choosing a course related with maths or mathematics will be appearing for mathematics 
एडमिशन टेस्ट एनी वन इज चूजिंग फिजिक्स विल बी अपीयरिंग फॉर फिजिक्स फॉर बायोमेडिकल एंड सो ऑन गॉट इट नेक्स्ट इज एडमिशन सो दिस मैथमेटिक्स एडमिशन टेस्ट लास्ट फॉर टू टू आवर थर्टी मिनट्स टू पॉइंट फाइव आवर्स एंड चेक हाउ अंडरस्टैंड मैथ्स एंड लॉजिकली एंड ऑल सच स्टफ नाउ पैट डेट्स फिजिक्स फिजिक्स एडमिशन टेस्ट इज ट्वेंटी टू एंड ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ अक्टूबर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव मैथ डेट्स नॉट मैंशन देर सो आई कुड नॉट मैंशन इट नाउ लैंग्वेज proficiency they do ask for ielts or toefl examinations ielts score is around 7.5 requirement and toefl score is around 110 requirement got it now fee status annual course fees payable by student so this is around this much euro which is around 69 lakh rupees per year yes you are hearing it right roughly 70 lakh rupees and if it's a four year course you will have to spend somewhere around 2.8 cr pretty great isn't it now Although, and, and, and let's talk about the monthly expense living there. So total in totality, you'll be spending anywhere between 1.7 lakh to 2.4 lakh. I'll take the higher higher side. So you'll have to probably spend. So if it is 2 lakh 40 thousand, you'll have to spend 20 thousand rupees per month staying there in England. Now scholarship. What about the scholarship? So let's talk about scholarship. So this is first of uh, a, a news that has been covered by a lot of news agencies that meet the five Indian students who back the prestigious Rhodes Scholarship for 2025. So Indian students do uh, appear like uh, apply for scholarship and they do even clear the scholarships, scholarship examination. Although this Rhodes Scholarship is for PG students, but Indian students have been clearing uh, scholarships. Now let's talk about the UG scholarship, undergraduate program scholarship. So Reach Oxford scholarship is a famous scholarship, which you can actually apply for. If you like uh, get selected to this scholarship, undergraduate student from low income countries who face financial, please mind it, who face financial, political or educational barriers to studying in their home countries. then they can go for this scholarship and they would be allowed for it so if you have financial conditions and you need to prove that with that financial condition you would not be able to study in your home country then you can get into this university now it covers all subjects in the courses listing except medicine medicine is not covered the scholarship covers course fees provides a grant for living expense and includes one return air fare per year so per year you can come to your home country also now eligibility criteria oxford who demonstrate outstanding academic ability financial need so here reach scholarship uh, does not have opportunity to pursue degree in their home country uh, they are expected to return to their ha this is an important condition once your course gets over you are expected to return to your home country you shall not stay in that country that is a requirement for this scholarship reach oxford scholarship now moving forward there is again one more scholarship which is called as simon and june lee undergraduate scholarship now in this scholarship uh, offered by this talented students from low income or disadvantaged backgrounds particularly from selected countries in that india is there obviously scholarship will cover your full tuition fees and grant towards your living cost so your living cost on your tuition fees will get covered here so these are the two scholarship which can actually fund your entire education even your living expenses there and you don't need to spend anything or probably very less now Ox uh, scholarship would be uh, the information about scholarship would be available on the official website of Oxford www dot ox dot ac dot uk slash admissions gra graduate slash fees and funding. So there you can get the entire information. Now how does entire process works out? First of all, you have to apply through th this UCAS application portal. You go to UCAS application portal. You apply there. Take the test. after test you'll have to submit your written work like sop letter of recommendation all such thing then you'll get interviews if your profile gets selected you'll get interviews you'll get interviewed by the counselors or the teachers or the faculties thereafter you have to take a decision whether you have to uh, take an admission or not after that you would be able to apply for scholarship also okay now details you'll have to apply for the ucs the platform the, the first part you have to apply it by 15th of october application through ucs platform thereafter all such processes will happen like you will take the test written work interviews and everything final decision will come by january 2026 so if you apply in october november december january like in 3 months within 2.5 months you'll get the final confirmation that whether you are getting selected or not and hence you can take your call i hope you understood that fine so ladies and gentlemen that was all now one more thing i wanted to say you that in case if someone of you might be thinking to go to abroad either oxford england or any other country or any other university for that matter 
me along with my team uh, are helping students in getting their uh, you know uh, decisions more sorted whether they have to go or not uh, whether they have to go to this country or that country so all such help we like me along with my team along with our partner institutions we are giving this help to the students so you can also get this help free of cost absolutely now how can you get that there is a link in the description box once you click on that link you will get a form on that form you need to just fill your details like name mobile number which grade you are you are are you tra targeting engineering or medical or something of that sort all such information you have to fill in there after that my team will call you within 48 hours they will call you and they will ask your doubts you can just clear all your doubts thereafter whatever you will have to take your decision you can move, uh, go ahead with your decision and then thereafter they will be helping you okay fine so that was all for this session. I hope you loved and enjoyed it. With this, it's time to say a goodbye. See you all in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Take care. Good night.